Jeff Roper, welcome back to Market Square. And Embracing Dyslexia is a documentary that is out, and this is going to be great for moms and dads and teachers and loved ones, and help you understand what dyslexia is and how it affects our children, especially in the learning process. And uh, Rafael Scarnati is here from uh, Learning Foundations, here to yep. tell us what you need to look for to find out if your child may be dyslexic. Yep. And here's a snippet of the upcoming documentary. I was diagnosed with um, dyslexia. She was, she was frustrated. I was frustrated. It was very difficult. Um, I assumed she was being stubborn. It was very hard on her when it came time to read because the teachers kept telling me, you need to spend more time with her, spend more time with her. And I felt like we were adequately spending the time she needed to learn how to read. She just couldn't pronounce the words, follow the story. She didn't, she didn't know how to read. And obviously that's a parent who has some concerns and mm -hmm. you all are going to be able to help. Tell us about this documentary. So uh, the documentary was produced uh, four years ago. We actually are executive producers uh, of the documentary. And uh, director uh, Luis Macias is the parent of a child with dyslexia. And so he uh, went out to, uh, to interview uh, experts on dyslexia and other parents of children with dyslexia to kind of talk about their story what they go through and what parents can do um, when they see that their child is smart but struggling uh, with reading, writing, and spelling. And so uh, this is the fourth year in, the, in a row that we've put together this, uh, this uh, free screening of the documentary uh, that you're seeing on the, uh, on the screen. Um, Except we don't do a sleep consultation. Yeah, I'm, not, <laughs> it's a free, I'm not really sure. I it's think a free that event. Up. We, we will make sure everybody understands that. Yeah. that this event just requires a reservation. Exactly. Okay. So it is, it is a free event. Um, we're hosting it uh, at the Alamo Draft House, Stone Oak. Um, doors open at 6.30. Uh, and then we show the documentary. It's a one-hour documentary. And then afterwards, we have a uh, Q&A session with a panel of dyslexia experts where parents and teachers uh, that attend can ask um, questions about uh, you know what to do uh, if they you know if they think a child is dyslexic and what kind of help that they can get uh, for their for their child or their student. All right. So here's a question: yeah. is, is is dyslexia a maturity issue? No, not at all. So uh, a lot of times uh, teachers might think that or schools might tell parents that you can't test for dyslexia until third grade. Uh, that is a myth. Uh, there's a lot of warning signs that you can that you can see from as early as. Uh, kindergarten or first grade. And what, what and are some of those? So typically uh, letter reversals like the B and the D um, or the P's and the Q's. And the E's and you know you uh, see that sometimes with little kids. Yeah. Now you know if they're in kindergarten it's still it's still okay but about midway through first grade that's typically a warning sign. Uh, ear infections, a history of ear infections, if they have difficulty with spelling or difficulty sounding out words, uh, if they tend to guess at words based on their shape sure. or based on the context or the picture the uh, comprehension clues, is, yeah. Uh, then, yeah, then those are generally um, you know, warning signs. And a lot of times parents don't know because uh, their child is smart and maybe they're getting good grades or maybe they're passing some of the spelling tests, yeah. but they're having to work extra hard to be able to compensate for those challenges. Exactly. Pay attention. Well, I had a little girl, that, oh, my little girl, she, she, we didn't think she was you know, doing things correctly. And sure mm -hmm. enough, it was ear infection, so we had tubes in the ears and that yep. cleared it up. Yep. But we want people to see this documentary, especially yep. so they can understand Absolutely. what dyslexia is all about. For more information on the Embracing Dyslexia documentary event, you can call 495-2626, 495-2626 or visit learningfoundations.com forward slash embracing dyslexia. A lot of great information there. And pass this along to a teacher or call a principal and let mm -hmm. them know about it because oh, yeah. you want to get there to make sure you have a seat. Absolutely. You'll, you'll Teachers, parents, uh, pediatricians, those are the people that the parents go to Very good. Uh, when they're struggling, uh, when their ch kids are struggling. And so we're inviting them all to come to this free event. That's great. This is a great thing. And y'all have learned a lot today too. Yeah.